Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another map guide in Vanguard Season 2. Today we are going to be taking a look at the newly added map, which is Gondola, which is a very cool addition to the game. Out of Gondola and Casablanca, I'm not 100% sure which is my favorite out of the two. They both offer something a little bit different, and if you do enjoy sniping, this is probably going to be a map that you do enjoy very much. But in saying that, there is a little bit of combat for everyone in this map. The building on the right-hand side in particular is full of close-range combat, and there are a lot of opportunities to move around this map and still get your medium and long range fix. So starting off with the flags as we normally do, we have the C flag here, which is in the gondola sort of lifty building. And this is the sort of entrance way to get onto this. And of course there is another one down the other end there. The B flag is in the middle of the map, as you could probably expect, it's in a little bit of a raised platform. So it is a little tricky to take, especially at the start of the game. When people sort of line up on this corner here, that corner there, it can be a little tricky to jump onto the B flag. And usually you'll hold it for a while if you do end up grabbing it at the start of the map. And then the A flag of course is towards the other end of the map towards the other end of the lift run and if we were to stay on the lift one it would actually like go all the way off the end and then come back around but we would die before we got to the end so that is a little bit interesting here so yeah if you can see this is actually out of bounds as you do sort of get into this area here it gets a little bit yeah, the game gets pretty upset that you're out there and then it will go all the way back down and then it'll come back up. So it is a little tricky, but there is something to be said for pretty much everyone on this map and that is one of the reasons why I think it is actually quite good in this game. I think it's a pretty good addition here. So the first thing I want to recognize here is this little platform here. If you are moving in this area, for the most part, you are likely to get sniped. Like there's a lot of different platforms. A lot of people have been comparing this to the bridge map in Modern Warfare. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but you know the one with all the snipers, the bridge in the middle, it was just a mess. It's a little bit like that in terms of the fact that people can sit in a lot of these areas here and just snipe but if you do manage to get nice and close to these areas and just sort of like run in and out of this if you do want to like get into this area hopefully nobody will shoot you as you are climbing up onto the ladder and then you can use this area as a little bit of a platform to try and snipe people you can see towards most of this area of the map you can see that window there that area there which comes off a of spawn you can see the gondola you can see people picking out there there you can see that side of the map which again is another little spawn back on that side you can see that building there which again they are windows that we can shoot out of if we look from the other the way and again you can sort of control people from moving out of that side of the map and again if you keep walking keep on a little look around you can sort of see as you destroy this more and more people will sit on there people will sit on those barrels there you can also be shot from inside the building so it's not a perfect and safe location all the time you do have to sort of be aware of where people are looking and shooting at you from because they can be inside and they will shoot through the windows and get you here again the other side is very similar you can see that doorway there which a lot of people just run up that stairs and then jump into that doorway there and again they'll sit on the boxes they'll sit on the boxes there they'll sit in those windows up there and then they will sort of sit in the gondola platform that doorway and that gondola platform there they'll sit near that truck they will also sit near come on give me a little bit give me a little bit more room here They'll also sit on that side and behind the rock there and try and snipe across. So if you are in this area, maybe just take a couple of shots, get a couple of kills and then move to a different part of this area just so you don't get taken out by re-peaking the same area. While not massively useful, you can actually use this area to jump up onto the gondola platform, sort of roofy bit of this part and actually get into the gondola ride and just sort of ride it to the end of the station. Depending on where you do want to get on this, if this is necessary, you can use this sort of jump, jump up here and then jump in the gondola and then get away from this area very quickly here. Again, if we were to look at this sort of area of the map, this is one of my favorite spots to sit because if you are coming from like the A flag side and the enemy does control the C flag, if you look at it from here, there's a couple of different spots that you can use to sort of traverse and sort of switch between to get a decent number of kills of people coming out of the C flag building. So people will come from there, they'll look in those windows, they'll look in that doorway, they'll sit in the gondola platform and they'll sit over there. And you can also sort of shoot them from this side as well. A lot of people do sit near those sort of ski mobile truck looking things. They'll sit next to the rock as well. And if you do lay down on top here, you get a very nice clear line of sight on them if you do want to take people out who are in that platform there, which is very, very common. Similar sort of works on the other side as well. It's a little less effective because it's not as sort of obvious, but again, you can see all the way back into sort of that area back there. And you can sort of see that window there as well. If people do peek out of that, and again, you can almost see that window there as well, which people can sort of look out of, jump out of, and sometimes we'll get some shots. So you can sort of take this out here as well, and you can maybe snipe some people in that window. Again, if we're in this sort of position here, you can sort of use this to stop people from walking up the ramp and up the stairs by sort of shooting through this, which you can do. And again, if you do lay down, you can see the windows, which are people People are very likely to sit in those windows because, I mean, they're not a bad spot on this map. And you can also sit out on the little snowy platform here as well. Don't typically recommend this too much because people love to come up here and they'll just sprint past and they will might take you out. It's pretty common to get taken out in that way, but again, you can put it, have decent control of this area here, there, there, there. 
No, there, there. And you can see that doorway there as well, so just keep that in mind. If you come back into the ice tunnel bit, you can see that this sort of does traverse and sort of angle around and sort of get people killed. Uh, there's also a spawn back here fairly commonly, like you'll just be in this area here and enemies will still be spawning down there. Sometimes you'll be in this area here and they'll spawn here, it's just a bit of a mess, and they can even spawn in that half of the tunnel if you are in here, which is a little interesting. Moving through a map again, we can see that this little does take us up here, and we can look out of these little areas here. This little staircasey bit does lead, of course, to the windows that are up here. Not a super useful spot for the most part, as people will always be looking up here, especially if these are open, they're broken and everything. So again, just be aware when you do look out of here, you will be sort of getting shot fairly often, fairly quickly. So again, this is another spot you just take some shots, get some kills, and then move away from fairly quickly here. If we do take a closer look at the gondola station here, you can sort of use this sort of sit and watch for people sort of moving towards those trucks. Again, you can see the enemy spawn back there, people coming in the gondola, you can see all of the middle of the map. You can also stop people from getting in the middle area as well. You can see the top, you can see the B flag, which I mean, that is shoot throughable again. That is capping the B flag, you see a little bar going up, you just take some pot shots at it and you'll probably end up getting a kill. People do love to sit in that area there on those barrels or the boxes almost, just as I'm jumping there. They'll sit in the building there, they'll sit where we just showed earlier because you, you're very exposed from here. So it's not an ideal place to, hello? <laughs> Silly gondola. But again, as you can see, you're fairly exposed from here. So again, this is not something I actually do recommend you sitting in. I mean, you can get a couple of kills and then again, you want to move out of these spots as soon as possible because I mean, a lot of people do sit here and a lot of people get taken out like this. Moving along here again, we can see that this is the garage area. It does follow all the way around here. Can't go that way though, which jump in here. And then we choke out this way and you can see. A lot of people will sit on this side and snipe towards the A flag. You can see they get a pretty good line of sight there. So again, sniping on this map is definitely something you can do. And if it's like a pastime of yours, something you're interested in, you'll definitely have a good time on this map for it. But I mean, it's not ideal. It's not something I'm particularly interested in as it makes this sort of map very, very boring. As people sort of run down here and you just go, yep, snipe them. Similar spot to sort of moving down here as well. This is another area where lots of people sit. They'll sit here and they'll wait for people to run up to there or they'll just try and snipe across the courtyard. Same does sort of apply here as well. You can sort of use this sort of mount up and be fairly hard to hit if you just keep moving and stuff. Again, you can see that window. You can see the spawn. You can see all the way towards the A flag. And again, you can sort of see the B flag, but I mean, you can shoot through this, so keep that in mind. If we were to move towards the middle of the map again, if we were in the sort of like power planty area, you can again see towards the B flag. It's fairly important to remember that you can actually shoot towards the middle area of the map from here. So a lot of people do sit in that middle area again, and you want to light that up as much as possible because people love to sit in there. People love to sit in that area and just sort of wait for people to come to them because they will be looking over the sides. And they typically won't expect somebody to sort of sit on the, like behind the power plant generator things and try and shoot them across here. So this is important line of sight to remember. Same works from the other side as well. If we take a look, we can sort of see towards the B flag. We can blow up that door and people will not be able to capture the B flag. And again, from the other side as well, this looks very, very similar. So again, keep this in mind when you are trying to sort of stop people from getting into the B flag and capturing that middle area of the map. Good thing about this map, on the other side, it is very similar. As you can see, this is another platform and little area where you can stop people from getting from out their spawn. Again, the spawn is back there. They will stop in the windows and they'll take some shots at you, so just keep that in mind. They'll come up the middle, they'll stay near the rocks, they'll stay near the truck. There's also a door behind that truck there, so just keep that in mind. You can see that window there, you can see the gondola, you can see the spawn there, you can see all the way towards the A flag. So this is another spot where you should keep it in mind. You can get a nice little shot of people from the A flag as well. This is a pretty cool little line of sight, but because you are raised up, you can sort of see that side as well. That side is what you're exposed here so just keep this in mind again if you do sit in a spot like this just get a couple of kills get one or two kills and then move because you are a sitting duck standing on top of this barrel something that this map does remind me of is 2-4 in tf2 if any of you ever played tf2 it's kind of similar to that you can see that there is these buildings and stuff here that you can basically just shoot across the entirety of the map again we can see the gondola all the way back there so if you do have a sniper or something long range you'll be able to get pretty easy kills and consistent ways to shoot people across the map here again a little bit further out but again stop people from getting into the middle building and the gondola and sort of being able to shoot people all the way across the map this does sort of come into this area here and again this is the doorway we we're talking about previously that does come out behind the truck not too bad of a way to get out of this area again you can see that doorway there the middle of the map a lot of people do sit in that doorway and a lot of people sit there so this is usually a hotly contested area so you'll have to care there as you move up on this bit and you'll have to sort of keep an eye on that area there because people love to sit behind there and they will look towards the stairs just to sort of try and stop you from moving up onto them it looks a little bit like this so just keep this in mind as well again moving through this area here you can see that it sort of does lead all the way back into this little real like building room thing back here 
Not sure why you'd ever come back here, really, like, it's not super important part of the map for the most part. There's probably a hard point back here or something like that. And as you can see, it's not really too much you can do apart from move out of the spawn here, and people will love to sit there, they'll love to sit in those boxes there and stop you from getting out of this area. If we were to move into this, again, the water plant, heavy water plant area apparently is what this is known as, you can see all the way across into the middle building again, you can get a nice little pre-fire on somebody who might be sitting in that area there. So just light this up occasionally, light that area up occasionally as well because lots of people sit on those barrels. If you move across here, you can see a very nice clear sniping position here, you can see the gondolas, you can see the middle building, you can see the B flag, you can see the middle platform a bit, you can see the majority of this part of the map as well. You can stop people from getting on this side of the rock, that side of the rock, and into the gondola area as well. So this is important to keep in mind, and again, you can use this area to sort of move in and out. This does spawn back there, which happens fairly frequently if you are over here. The spawns on this map are very consistent, as if your boys are on this side, you'll mostly continue to spawn over here. So just keep that in mind as well. And if you were to come down here, you're pretty much exposed for most of the same spots as the window. But again, this is another spot where you can sort why is there just a massive fire going on in there that's <laughs> okay, that's fine. And as yeah, as you can see, you can sort of see towards the middle of the map there. You can sort of stop people from getting into there. But mostly, you want to use this area to sort of run behind the rock and then sort of take your chances getting behind these rocks and try and get as close as possible to the middle building. And again, if you do get nice and close to these areas here, for the most part, you can take out people who are trying to snipe here. And you can actually go on a nice little run up in the middle here. You can sort of stop people from sitting on that area there. You can keep going again, take out somebody there, and then just sort of jump up and get a nice little kill on people who are there. They usually sit there behind those barrels they'll sit near that doorway or again you can run all the way around stop people from something going that way and continue on our way around if we were to go on the full flank we can just basically shoot people who sit on these barrels here because as you can see nice little sniping position towards the b flag and you can almost see those windows back there as well try and get another nice line of sight on them there you can see that window back there as well but for the most part, this really isn't a super complicated map. Most of the spots that you can sit in are fairly self-explanatory, but we are just going to go on a little bit of a gondola ride from the other side to see if we can see some line of sights. So basically, you can see towards the middle building, you can, for the most part, sort of see and sort of mount on this and just sort of move a little bit and sort of get a nice amount of kills on people who are there. You can see people there in the middle bit. You can see people in the middle building as well. That is a very, very important thing to know because if people are sort of knowing that you're up here, if they know you're up here, they will light you up and they will shoot through this because it's very very penetratable as well penetratable that's not a word and then you can shoot towards the middle building as well you can see that spawn there that window and then we'll move into the gondola station as well as we can see this is sort of like gondola town basically if you do sort of come into this area i usually like to lay down and just wait for people to sort of just sort of move around the gondola platform if you're trying to move on this area again you get your snipes and you'll see that window over that side there for the most part i just like to lay down if i'm going somewhere specific if i want to just sort of go to the other side of the map maybe get a little spawn trap going i just like to lay down not fire anything and typically people might not see you they will occasionally pre-fire the box and if they get a hit marker they'll light you up so just keep that in mind you're not perfectly safe up here but it's not too bad of an option to move around the map but that's going to be pretty much it for our map guide here on Gondola here, guys. Again, it's not a super complicated map for the most part. As you can see, there's a big old fire going on up there. But again, not super complicated here for the most part. There's not super sick lines of sight like there is on other maps. But I mean, there's still pretty nice stuff. I've jumped off this before. If you are in this area here, do not jump off this area because you will die down there. And the same goes to the other side. I'll just show you that. But I mean, there's not too much to talk about with this map. It is actually quite cool. I don't think it's... I think they might have disabled the playlist with it because there was a little bit of a bug or something going on with it. I'm not 100% sure at the moment. But again, this is going to be your map guide, of course, for Gondola in Vanguard Season 2. I think this is a cool addition to the game. I love snow and maps. I think they're pretty cool. If you did enjoy this one and it did help you out at all, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it. It really does help me out. Of course, we are still looking for 6,000 subscribers. If you do help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive here. I really do appreciate when our community does grow and we get to talk to more people about Call of Duty. So again, thank you for watching this one and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!